Hello everyone, Hasadegi, your relational alchemist and quantum guide. It's been some time since I've done any videos or shared any wisdom. Felt inspired yesterday to talk about being united and how it starts with being united within. What I want to take a moment to talk about is water. For you see, if we try to cut water or separate it, no matter how much you try to divide it, it will not divide. In fact, the water is one interconnected body, much like all of us. For you see, we're all one interconnected body, and oftentimes our outer conflicts are merely a reflection of our inner turmoil. I want to talk about this in regards to two examples. One, had a, a colleague and dear soul brother and I, who recently talked about faith-based perspectives, and he asked me about my faith-based differences. What resulted from this transparent and loving dialogue was we both began to look for the common bonds to unify our connection. For you see, if you look for the differences and focus on the superficial layers, then you will definitely find differences. So we both stepped into a unifying connection when we both began to look for the commonalities that would bond us. A second example was as I began to build out my healing practice recently, I was torn or conflicted within. On one hand, I had a competing value of service to everybody as a healer. And then on the other hand, I had this notion of business ambitions partially fueled by my ego and my mind. And it took a while and it was very painstaking recently to reconcile by leaning into my heart's guidance and my soul's wisdom. For you see, it's important for us to go within, especially now when there's so much of a divisive undertone in society, and begin by reconciling our inner conflicts. If you're caught in an environment that wants to separate you or creates for you inner strife, feel free to knock the dust off your shoes and move on as they say. It's important for each of us to be so centered in our inner peace that we pull others into this peace and wholeness, avoiding their storms. So I leave you now with two questions to really spur some insightful inquiry for you if you choose. One, how are you divided or torn within yourself? What competing interests, values, or beliefs do you have juxtaposed within you? And where can you unify or bring them together? Where can you bring resolve and unity to these inner conflicts? During these times, I invite you to step into wholeness and peace. As always, if I can be of any support and be a guide to you to bring wholeness and peace back into your life, please do reach out. Wishing you and yours wholeness, harmony, love, and blessings. As always, I appreciate you watching and have an amazing day ahead.